Hey everybody, today is Tuesday, March 21st, and today is my birthday. And I came up with a birthday resolution today. That's right, I'm no longer doing New Year's resolutions because uh, it gives me an extra three months at the beginning of the year to be lazy. No, um, but seriously, though, I, am, uh, I, I am now doing birthday resolutions every year. And so this year, my birthday resolution is for the next 10 Tuesdays in a row, I'm going to create 10 short inspirational videos like this one. Uh, and I'm gonna post them for you to watch. Um, as many of you know, I give inspirational and motivational speeches around the country. I give them to students and adults. And I felt that instead of you having to wait until my next big, lengthy, 20, 30 minute speech that I give on stage somewhere, what if I supplemented those speeches with short little three or four minute videos for the next 10 weeks? So that's what I'm doing. So today's short inspirational video is about happiness. And I recently learned about a study that they did in the uh, 1980s or 1990s. I, I don't remember exactly when it was. It was during the pager era. Um, my buddy Joshua Becker turned me on to this study. If you don't know Joshua Becker, he runs the incredible website called Becoming Minimalist. It's a great website. I highly recommend it. And Joshua turned me on to this study where the scientists studied people for a very long time on their levels of happiness. In fact, I think it was one of the lengthiest studies ever done on human happiness. I think it went on for months or years or something. It went on for a very long time. And what they did was this. They got all these thousands of people that were involved in the study and they had them wear pagers 24 seven. And randomly throughout the day, they would page these people. And whenever somebody got paged, they had to take out their notebook and write down what level of happiness they were feeling at that current moment on a scale from one to 10. So they would just write down a number whenever they got paged. And this is what is so interesting about this study. What the scientists discovered is that over the long term, on average, everybody averages themselves at a seven on a scale from one to 10 in terms of happiness. Now sure, you know, there's peaks and valleys, right? When somebody would get a new job, for example, or they would move to a bigger house or they would fall in love or, you know, any number of good things that would happen to them, you know, they would come into some extra money or, you know, they would buy a new car or, you know, whatever, anything positive that happened in their life, yes, their happiness levels would go up to nine, 10, for a short while. That's the key thing. It was for a short while. Their happiness levels would peak at nine or 10 for like a day or two, maybe a week. But then eventually, the happiness levels would settle back down at seven again. And the same thing when negative things happen in their lives as well. Maybe they were diagnosed with cancer or a family member died or they lost a job or they lost their house or you know, they lost a pet or they were sick, or um, you know, they were diagnosed with skin cancer or something. Um, did I already say that? You know, any negative thing that happened in their life, yes, it would drop their levels of happiness down to zero, one, two. But again, the amazing phenomenon here was that it was only for a short period of time. After a couple of weeks, people would start rating their happiness again at levels of seven. Everybody averages out at a seven. It's unbelievable. I found this incredibly inspirational because what I learned from this study was that we get most of our unhappiness from trying to strive for those nines and tens, those peaks of happiness in our life. So we're always reaching out to external things, right? We're trying to, you know, get that better apartment. We're trying to get that better job promotion. We're trying to buy nicer things. We're trying to get better material possessions and we're trying to find better friends in our lives. We're trying to do this and this and this. We're, we're reaching for all these external things that can try to pull us up to a nine or a 10. 
But eventually, even if we get all those things, and yes, you know, I, I, I want you to be going out there and trying to get, you know, go for your goals and trying to get better things in your life and get a better job. But the thing is, after you achieve all those things, those things become the new normal and you'll settle back down into the seven of happiness again. But a lot of people mistake that level seven for unhappiness because they're not at the sustained peak of the nine or the 10. So the unhappiness comes from us constantly trying to pull ourselves out of seven and get into the state of nine and 10, but those states never last. Instead, if we can just be happy every day as sevens, <laughs> that's where the real happiness comes from. And I'm going to wrap up this video in a moment here, but um, I wanted to leave you with one tip that I have found to be very helpful in my life to be okay with the sevens of my life instead of constantly striving for the nines and the tens. And the one tip that I have found that's been very helpful for me personally is to give gratitude every morning for little things in my life or big things in my life. But every morning when I wake up, I sit up in bed and I give gratitude for five or 10 things I can think of off the top of my head. They're different every day. And if I can't think of anything, I, I, I give gratitude for the little things like that I have all of my limbs. Uh, that I have food in my refrigerator, that I live in a beautiful city where it's sunny almost every day of the year. Um, you know, just little things of gratitude. If you make a habit out of it every morning, it can help you achieve that regular feeling of happiness and contentment in your life. And I found that these tools of trying to give gratitude and look for the good things in our life help me mentally get to a better place and get to a more peaceful, content, and happy place on a daily basis, even when really bad things are happening. So anyways, I hope that was somehow inspirational and motivational. If not, maybe next week's video will be. <laughs> so we'll talk to you soon. Uh, take care. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, you can see more videos like this. Bye-bye.